Gay. Hey sisters, I have no life. So y'all bitches already know what's up. It's in the title. You may not have asked for this, but you helped me do it. You know who you are. Why won't this goddamn bow stay straight? Oh wait, I know the answer to that one. Because much like me, it never was straight. Fuck you, comedy's hard. So I recently took to Twitter asking you guys to ask me gay questions so that I could gay answer them in video format. What I failed to realize, however, is that I don't actually have a Twitter following. So what did I do instead? Well, I'm a 23-year-old millennial, so what the fuck else was I gonna do? I went to Facebook. Now that's not to say that Twitter was completely useless. I got a number of questions off of that. Anyway, across Facebook and Twitter, the questions y'all asked me are... Interesting. Let's just leave it at that. And since my faggy ass clearly has nothing better to do, today we're gonna answer them. Well, actually, I'm going to answer those questions. And y'all are gonna sit there and watch me pretend to be funny on YouTube because I am Thirsty for them views. We don't- I don't- I lie about a lot of things. That is not one of them. Like, you need to see through my bullshit. I just had you guys write this content for me so that I could get them clicks. Why are you stalling, Tiles? Get to the questions! Yes, I am stalling. And there is a perfectly logical explanation for that. It's called watch time. However, at this point, I'm actually running out of things to vamp with, so let's get right into it. You know the drill. Shut the fuck up, sit the fuck down, and let's watch me bullshit my way through another upload. Also, fair warning, a lot of these questions came from one person, because that is how little of a following that I currently have. I need friends. Question number one. If you lick a bussy, does it make a sound? Already off to a great fucking start. Well, Brad. God, that is such a closet homosexual name. I mean, I don't, I didn't mean, wait, hold the phone. Bitch, I'm burning bridges. Well, first of all, Brad, thank you for your fucking question. It is very oddly vague if you ask me. However, I am already here and we are doing this, so I will try my goddamn best. So, if you lick a bussy, does it make a sound? Well, I don't know, Brad. I suppose that would depend on a number of things, such as how fast are you licking? How hard are you licking? Is that bussy smooth? Or are you just combing your way through the jungle? Are your planets in retrograde? What is your social security number? Don't answer that. Don't answer that. That, children, is the number one way to ruin your own life. Am I answering this ridiculous question with other ridiculous questions because I don't know how to answer it? You better fucking believe I am. So, short answer, I would say yes, if you lick a bussy, it does make a sound. As for what sound it makes, well, that's a different story. But if you want to find out, I'm not saying anything, but I'm also not... not saying anything. Okay, next question. Is there a protocol for docking? Like, whose skin gets to be on top? Okay, like, I was expecting these questions to be heavily sexual, but... Damn! Okay, let me see. What kind of answer can I come up with for this? I don't think there's a protocol per se. Because like if you think about it, it could really go either way. Like you could think of it as the top's foreskin would go inside of the bottom's foreskin and therefore the bottom's foreskin would be on top. Or you could think of it the opposite way that the top's foreskin should be on top. So I don't think there's a real protocol to that. Not that I know of. If there was supposed to be a protocol to this, then I obviously did not receive received the memo or the homosexual handbook that they were apparently giving out when I was assigned to this orientation. Question three. Is there a cum fountain in heaven?
I can't do this. Bitch, I wasn't ready. You know, come to think of it, I wasn't supposed to be the one doing this today. Where is that slut? Terry, Terry, get your twink ass in here. I'm not doing this fucking segment. Let's see, we got some gay questions here. Okay, I got this. Let's do this, bitch. Let's see, where did he leave off? Is there a cum fountain in heaven? Why, thank you for asking. Unfortunately, the answer to your question is no. And I'll explain why. The reason why there's no cum fountain in heaven is because all the gays go to hell. So that's actually where your cum fountain is. Let's see, question number four. I'm actually gonna have to blitz through some of these because I don't have all night. I got like 20 something dicks to go ride later. When guys on Grindr say they're straight but their position is bottom, should they reconsider their straight membership? I would say... Go with it. Why does it matter what they choose to call themselves as long as you're getting that dick? Why are all Americans cut? And if each foreskin weighs 10 grams, where is the 1500 metric tons of foreskin located? Oh, I don't wanna do math. Math is hard. And not in the way I like other hard things. Personally, I would like to assume that many of those foreskins are up my butthole because my ass is a vice grip. True story. So there's a hardness test for rocks. It's called the Mohs scale of hardness. Is there a similar scale for Yes. It's called my esophagus, honey. I love my job. Who will be the first gay on Mars? Me. Is Jesus gay? One word. Judas. Which TV series makes you spontaneously ejaculate? Well, I don't know if you'd call it a TV series. Will self-driving cars be the next anonymous sex platform? Self-driving cars are a thing? I could be making so much more bank. Would you rather be spit roasted or have your weight in Ben and Jerry's delivered to your door? Yes. Can I get a man who like ejaculates ice cream? Ooh. I mean, a man like that probably has a bad yeast infection, but not my problem. A group of crows is called a murder. A group of lions is called a pride. What is a group of drag queens called? Indestructible. Remember for about 10 minutes when we were all going to have a kiki? Where did that go? Oh honey, it didn't go anywhere. It is unacceptable for a gay man to perspire. Therefore, what is the best cooling mechanism for a gay man? Bukake, obviously. Is it acceptable to douche while you are on the phone? Is it ever not? acceptable to douche? So they hooked electrodes up to a monkey's brain to the pleasure center, so that when they pushed the button, they felt the same pleasure as coming. Once hooked up to this device, the monkeys stopped eating and just pushed the button until they died. Where can I get one of these? Holy shit, that's a good fucking question. Now I wanna know. Where do I buy? Seriously, someone tell me, where do I buy? I want like... 40. Is Grindr a good thing? Do men who send me only pics of their dick think, surely this will get me a hookup? I mean, I don't know if they're thinking that it'll definitely get them a hookup, but you gotta commend them for trying. And I'd be a dirty fucking liar if I said it never worked on me. And I'm not a dirty fucking liar. I'm just a dirty fucking slut. Fuck, marry, kill. Madonna, Gaga, Beyonce. I'd kind of go straight for Gaga, so fuck Gaga. Marry Beyonce because Jay-Z does not deserve her. And you know, kill Madonna, not because I don't like her or anything, but because... Ladies old. I mean, come on girl, it's time to go. We love you, but it's time. We got two questions from Skylar. Mm, that name's hot. Number one, how much dick, dot, 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 is too much dick? Hey, but I don't, what? What do you mean? I'm having trouble. Can you like rephrase the question? How do you put too much and dick in the same sentence? Like no offense, sweetie, but your question is a little bit retarded. So I'm just gonna go ahead and answer your next question instead. Can you really stick a ball in? I mean, the real question is, do you want me to? We got a question from Sebastian. He asks, what's so great about cock? Oh my God, how fucking dare you? What do you mean what's so great about cock? Let me ask you a question. What isn't great about cock? That's a better fucking question, bitch. What a dumb question. That is two retarded questions way too close to each other. Okay, let's have the next question, please, before I have a bitch fit. Lion sent a few questions. Do you have a gog, a gig, a gig, a gig, a gig, a gig, a gig reflex? 
what is that? Like, are you speaking English? Am I supposed to know what that means? Okay, moving on. When did you first know you were gay? How do I put this delicately? Basically, you take a dick, you take your mouth, you put your mouth on the dick, and you suck it until something happens. After that happens, ask yourself this question. Did you like it? Okay, I'm really running out of memory on my computer, so I'm just gonna power through the rest of these really, really fast. Ready? What would you do if the guy you were gonna hook up with turns out to be trans and he doesn't tell you until the last second? Fuck him to death. Fuck him because I'm still horny, but I fuck him to death because he's a dirty, dirty liar. What fetish or kink turns you off the most? What? What fetish or kink turns you on the most? Yes. As a gay guy, are you okay with gay jokes? Try me, bitch. Why are gay people in general such happy people, despite the way they've been treated in the past and are still somewhat frowned upon even in the present? Honestly, just live your best life. That's what I tell myself every day. And if people still want to hate, fuck them to death too. With consent? With consent. Consent is important, children. KFC Thomas says, do you like being taken by your great looking hair? I mean, thank you, first of all. At the same time, maybe you could rephrase that question because it doesn't make any fucking sense. Nick asks, when you smush your wieners together, do you ever get worried that you're gonna give birth to a Pomeranian? Why would that be something to be worried about? I want a Pomeranian, they're adorable. And finally, Simon asks me, do you shower or bathe? I take golden showers and bubble baths. Oh my lord, we did it. We made it to the end of the video. If for some reason you actually enjoyed this bucket of retardation, don't forget to give it a like, but more importantly, subscribe. Subscribe or I'll fuck you to death with consent. And with that, I guess I will see you the next time my brain decides to fart out some more bullshit. Speaking of which, I gotta go. I'm about to fart out some of last night's cum. Ooh, you know what? I'm sorry. That's gross. You didn't need to know that. Okay, bye.